Hello. Uh, it's been a while. I want to start this video by saying that I've never had an intention of making these videos for like money or any other reason other than just like for fun, like a creative outlet. Um, so when some of them do well, I'm always very surprised, very happily surprised. So any support that anybody's given very much appreciated because like I said, I just did this stuff for fun. Um, and then I'm in a position sometimes to do videos just like this one, um, where things are sent to me to talk about, which is crazy to me because again, I didn't think that me making little silly videos would have ever done anything because I think that that's such a saturated world that I'm sure a lot of you have faced where you try to make something and it just kind of falls by the wayside. Um, but I'm lucky in a sense that maybe my timing is good or something like that. Um, and most of it is just the consistent support that I have from people that watch my stuff. So I appreciate it very much. Um, this video is an actual review of a product that was sent to me. Um, I was given a Kuhami, apologize if I'm not saying that correctly, um, capture card. They saw that I was streaming and I had a setup video, including an Elgato. And they reached out and said, hey, why don't you try our product? Uh, we feel that it's just as good, if not better, and at a better price. So that's what I'm capturing with right now. Um, I'm going to switch over to a better view for y'all. Um, but yeah, I have been using this Kuhami for couple weeks now um i had a little bit of hiccups but i think that was all on my end because i still use apple products to stream and record videos which um, i will say that this was immediately plug and play um with the elgato i had problems where you had to open their software first and then open obs and obs wasn't really that great for mac and all that kind of stuff so um i i ran into issues before and I had the HD60S, which didn't work, period. And then I had to buy an HD60S Plus, which at the time was like 350 bucks. Like it was like very not not nice to buy. Um, it ended up working, but this capture card is like half that. Um, and I consistently get 4K if I want. I only stream at 1080, but um, you can use 4K at 60 frames very reliably. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. Um, I started streaming again. I took a long break. I'll put that in the description. I, I only stream very lightly. Um, you know, pandemic streaming was obviously way more popular. Um, I'm a lot busier now. So every like week or two, I do a couple hours, but I'm using this capture card to do that. And as you can see in the background, the gameplay is captured by it. Um, I'm just gonna load into something. I'm not gonna like play. I'm just gonna, I just wanna show you the reliability and the um, the quality um, because it's just, I, I'm pretty impressed by it for the price. Um, I know that this is something that stops a lot of people. Like a lot of people want to start streaming and then they are worried about their quality not being that great. So they worry about, you know, how to capture, like what webcam to get or what camera to use and all that kind of stuff. And it, and it does hinder a lot of people from actually just pursuing it and having fun with it. So this, I think, is a lot more attainable. Elgato's great product, obviously, um, but you get what you pay for with them. There's there's a bigger name surrounding that. And um, I was always happy with my Elgato, but I no longer have it. And then Kuhemi reached out and they said, hey, why don't we send you this thing? So I'm going to quickly show you it as well. So this is it here. Um, it's a lot flatter. It's a little longer this way than... Um, than an Elgato would be, but this is, uh, yeah, this is it. It's, it's very simple to set up. You can run a headset through it, uh, and a microphone straight into it, and then you can stream multiple different ways that way. Um, this is basically what my setup looks like right here. So my MacBook Pro, uh, M1, and then my monitor, and they also do DSLR capture, which is great. I haven't tested that yet, but I'll leave all the links and everything below. Um, I think there's a discount code too, so check that out in the description. Um, but I'll just show you, just show you a, a minute here. Like I said, I'm not gonna like play anything. Um, not like a gaming channel. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it, I don't drop a lot of frames. Um, it stays at 60 very consistently. I'm using a PS5. The pricing as well that I just showed, that's in Canadian. So if you're American, it's probably 
even better. Yeah, once we get in here, you'll see the that it's smooth, that it's reliable. Um, it looks pretty good too. I just have it mounted like kind of at the top of my PS5 and then all the, the wires running away from that. So once we get into a game here, if I ever get into a game. Also, isn't this so ugly? I used to have a flag over top of that. Maybe I should put it back. I cleaned up the office after I stopped streaming and that's pretty not nice to look at, I don't think. That's okay. So yeah, let's show you the pregame lobby here. Um, nice and smooth, clean. Doesn't really like fail. Like I said, any issues I had, I think it was just because I was using Apple stuff. Um, I think it was just literally, that was like the thing that, that stopped it from working for me. And I reached out to Kuhami and um, another, very big positive I can say is that they were like immediately willing to help like they were very if something's not working let us know we'll get our, our team on it like they were more than friendly um, so I was very happy with that they've been nothing but nice very very generous of them to, to send me this um, I'm not being paid to speak positively of it um, I you will always trust that I have an honest opinion on this channel and if I thought that this thing wasn't good, I would let you know. Because like I said, I know that it's not that easy to stream when you have to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars up front to get all this equipment. But I do think this is attainable. Um, I'll drop the links of everything below. And everybody can enjoy it. But thanks again, Kuhami. Uh, again, I hope I say it properly. Feel free to follow me on Twitch for the few times that we get on there. Um, it's a good crowd that we have going on over there from these videos and yeah, I can't believe I'm getting sent things to like product review. It's just mind-blowing. So I appreciate it so much. Thanks for showing love. I'll see you next time. Thanks.